All right, today we're going to watch some Canadian TV. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Uh, I have the dish pointed at 107 West, one in the Anique. I don't know how to pronounce what they call the, some of these satellites. Anyway, Anique, it's 107 West. It's the Canadian satellite. It's the one that um, if you have a Shaw Direct um, subscription dish, um, on the KU side, there is these uh, DigiCypher channels on there that uh, are the subscription stuff. But if you have a C-band dish, you can get some of the Canadian channels free and in the clear. So we'll take a look at uh, what handful of channels that you can get on that satellite. And uh, we'll do a scan of what's on 107 West on that great Canadian television stuff like CTV and... The weather network and uh, I think that's about it and there's some feeds and stuff as well and it's not too bad out today here in Canada so let's go inside and uh, I'll get my uh, Amico mini because I like doing blind scans on that and we'll take a look at what's on 107 West when I've I've spin the dish over to 107 so let's, uh, All let's right, take a look. So first you go into your satellite installation and you make sure you get the correct satellite 107 West Anik F1 and for my LMB I have to have it on standard 5150 is for the LMB input frequency and I just look through the transponders. Now before looking at this I just realized that there is no horizontal broadcasting transponders that I could see either on Linksat or on my uh, satellite receiver. Now, I had these disabled for, for the scan. It actually still works. I should have it on DISEC uh, set to port 1, but I have it disabled. So, by default, port 1, it will go to port 1, which is the C-band dish. So, I just set it for free, and then um, I'm going to do a blind scan. The free mode just means that it will just scan in the, in the clear channels. That's what I want. Because we're doing legal free-to-air stuff here on this on this channel. Yeah, so it goes through the scan process here. This first bit of the process is uh, because there's no horizontal transponders on that satellite that it was able to find, uh, there's nothing on there. But also, sometimes you can scan the news feeds. There are, there's news feeds on C-band, and there is news feeds on KU-band as well. And uh, the news feeds... Um, are sometimes you do need to use the as box to pick those up. Um, I can pick them up on my as box. So sorry about this wait here for this uh, first part. Uh, it's just because there's nothing on the C-band side with horizontal transponders. So we're going to go right to the weather network and the test channels. Now I'm not going to show the weather network due to copyright, but they when they show the weather network, they actually have like without the local data and here's all the HD CTV type stuff. Um, now some of these CTV feeds are like the, the backhaul feeds and on your, on your radio channels there's a whole bunch of uh, different um, radio channels. I should actually check out some of the radio on this satellite because uh, somebody was asking about K-Love and uh, the Christian music radio channels. I do see it looks like it's here scanned in here on uh, the radio side <clears throat> so I can get like CTV Ottawa in high definition here and there is one of the um, CTV twos uh, on Vancouver Island according to link set so that's the scan so it's scanned in about 26 channels um, that's that are in the clear so the channels I got here here just go through it I have the Metro media is another thing I'd like to point out which is like the French weather channel and uh, so when we go over to Linksat, 
legsad.com. It shows you the frequencies. Now, I'm AMC Canada. This channel is unscram or it's scram. It's encrypted with PowerView, so you won't be able to get free satellite receivers. But the legislative one and all these ones here, like for CTV, they're all in the clear and um, able to get. Same with the uh, radio channels over on 4060 with the Metro Media mucks. You can get those because they're in the clear and they're not encrypted. <clears throat> and uh, some more CTV channels. I didn't. I'm not sure if I scanned in both those muxes or just one of them, but I did get some CTV channels. Uh, that's the same thing again. The Weather Network, which the Weather Network has like ten channels and feeds, and then there's the Fight Network. Now, if you do go to the uh, if you have a shot an, an um, out of service shot direction receiver, I have noticed that they you can get a few channels on them, uh, CTTB to Alberta, and I was actually able to get those on my LTSS package as well. I don't know if they're going to shut those down on when they shut down the LTSS on the on September first, but it's kind of nice to be able to test to make sure your receiver still works to get something like these radio channels that are here. But you need the DigiCypher two type of receiver that Shaw has. So um, I have been able to, when, uh, for example, when the power goes out and I turn it back on, I'm still able to get some of those channels like uh, the BC legislation channel and the um, uh, knowledge channel as well, which is another, it's kind of the Western version of TV Ontario is what's on the knowledge channel. And I don't see the BC legislator here on Linksat anymore, so you probably can't get that anymore. But if you do have a, happen to have an old Shaw receiver, you can get like two channels with it. There, so there you go. Something's for free. And uh, yeah, another thing to mention is they're on the KU band size side. If you have a four two two receiver, like the oh, um, what's the one I have? I never even watched four two two, but people ask about that sometimes. Uh, with a 422 receiver like my, what the heck, the Asbox. I have an Asbox. It decodes 422 over the um, broadcast stuff. So sometimes you can get some of the, the CBC and CTV, uh, some of the Canadian news feeds on, on that as well on the KU side. But really, if you want to get in the clear free stuff, you need a C-band dish and a, and a um, receiver that can receive uh, DVB-S at least two and MPEG four at this time. So, so Canadian TV off the top of my head, and I'm probably dating myself here. Uh, one of the greatest uh, gifts that the United States ever gave us Canadians was when Fred Rogers brought Ernie Coombs' Mr. Dress Up to Canada, and we had the Mr. Dress Up show that ran i don't know for over 20 years i grew up watching mr dress up and mr rogers both great men in uh in broadcasting but yeah fred rogers brought mr dress up to canada and that was one of the greatest gifts we ever got from the americans are you looking for a satellite dish a satellite receiver or a actuator or a satellite meter or an lmb or any satellite products for your free to air setup, go to tech2000.com. Look at their wide variety of merchandise of many free to air satellite products that will soothe your satellite needs. are going to do an unboxing video. Let's see what's in the box. Ah, it's a snake! Oh 